My name is Claude Evans, and I'm a carrot representative from Oklahoma. We're just here today to welcome you to the carrot organization. Carrot, or the Council for Agricultural Research, Extension, and Teaching, is an advocacy group. We are appointed by the deans of our various land grant institutions, and we're here today to produce a video that will allow you to know more about the duties and responsibilities of the CARAT member. Again, I want to say welcome and thank you for joining this elite group. Congratulations on being appointed as a CARAT delegate from your land grant institution. CARAT, the Council for Agricultural Research, Extension, and Teaching, is a national grassroots organization created in 1982 by the Administrative Head Section of the Board on Agriculture Assembly for the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities, the APLU. At that time I was director of the Experiment Station and had been working with Washington for, for a good while. There was at that time, a, as there is today, a very strong need for the three major elements of the land grant system to work together. We had the Extension Service, we had the, far, the Experiment Station, we had the College of Agriculture's um, academic programs, all three of whom had Washington lobbyists, had uh, planning processes that didn't mesh, and generally ended up uh, conflicting with each other quite frequently. And so a group of the administrative heads in agriculture, which is the, the people who were over all three functions around the the uh, states got together and, and had held some brand, brown brainstorming sessions and came up with the idea of CARAT. CARAT is composed of volunteer representatives from the 50 states, the U.S. territories, and the District of Columbia. As an organization, our mission is to advocate for greater national support and understanding of the land-grant university systems, food and agricultural research, extension, and teaching programs in CARAT's four regions that enables the quality of life for all people. CARAT also works with national agricultural organizations to tell agriculture's story. You are a delegate because you won a one-vote election, not on the basis of your effective attacks on other candidates, nor on your $100,000 primetime television advertising, nor on your ability to manage the spin on press reports of your indiscretions. You were appointed by the Administrative Head of Agriculture at your land-grant university based upon your capacity to provide a knowledgeable, credible endorsement for APLU Board on Agriculture Assembly's budget and legislative recommendations for agricultural research, extension, and teaching. While we share and were selected on that single attribute, we have several other common denominators. The typical profile of a CARA delegate says that you are politically knowledgeable. It says that you are intensely interested in many areas of public policy. It says that you are prone to want to make a difference on those issues in which you have an interest. To be a successful CARA delegate, it is important for you to understand the scope of your work and the responsibilities it requires. You will be involved in a coordinated effort to provide input to and lobbying support for the APLU Board on Agriculture Assembly's budget recommendations and legislation proposals, such as Farm Bill reauthorization issues as they are forwarded to Congress and the Administration. Your involvement will not be as an individual or university representative but as a member of the Council for Agricultural Research, Extension, and Teaching. Greetings, new and returning members of CARAT. We're really looking forward to working with you and very much appreciative of the time and the energy that you volunteer. So on behalf of USDA, I want you to know how much we appreciate the help and the support that CARAT provides. CARAT is several things. First, it is a strong and trusted voice of external grassroots support for the land-grant system. Second, 
It is a credible source of user input to the budget and legislative development processes of the Board on Agriculture Assembly itself. Third, it's an active national network for building understanding among CARAT members across state and regional lines. And finally, we must always remember that CARAT is owned by the system of land-grant institutions, which provide its sole source of financial support. But we must also bear in mind what CARAT is not. CARAT is not a general farm organization charged with taking independent positions on issues of agricultural policy. CARAT is not an organization whose membership structure, nor its business format, provides appropriate frameworks for public policy considerations. And number three, CARAT is not an organization chartered to engage in the influence of public policy independent of its parent organization, APLU's Board on Agriculture Assembly. In order to carry out your work as a CARAT delegate, you have certain privileges given to you. First, you will have access with the Dean, Vice-Chancellor, or whatever title describes the Administrative Head of Agriculture at your land-grant institution. Second, you will be granted time for adequate preparation of printed materials and information for face-to-face -face sessions with faculty and administrators in research extension and teaching. The purpose of these materials and meetings is to help those individuals understand, as thoroughly as possible, the nature of the BAA budget recommendations or legislative proposals, the process that's used in their development, and, finally, their impact in that delegate's state and region. Third, as CARAT delegates, you will have support from your sponsoring land-grant institution to attend regional and national CARAT meetings and to be a full participant in that process. As CARAT delegates, you have some responsibilities that you must maintain. First, you must maintain the discipline needed to follow through on the tasks you are given. Second, you have regular interaction with those key leaders to whom you have been given access. And third, you have a responsibility to deliver the compelling message of support for the BAA budget and legislative initiatives as you contact key decision makers regarding agricultural research, extension, and teaching programs. In order to help CARAT delegates deliver a compelling message, various resource materials are provided to CARAT and AHS members. These materials include, but are not limited to, a CARAT handbook, congressional directory of each session of Congress, legislative updates and summaries, and published articles of interest to the agricultural community. Our performance as delegates and as an organization will be measured by our effectiveness in supporting the budget recommendations and legislative initiatives of the BAA. That effectiveness will depend on the strength of our partnership with the AHS and the BAA Policy Board of Directors. As partners, we might grapple with the difficult questions related to various budget requests or legislative proposals. We might disagree stridently as the process moves along. But in the end, we must be prepared to join hands solidly in these endeavors that are critical to the future of the land-grant university system. Again, congratulations on your election as a CARAT delegate. We certainly want to thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope it has been meaningful for you and will help you to have a better understanding of the responsibilities and duty of the CARAT delegates. We also want to thank the deans for giving us the opportunity to be significant. All of us work really hard to be successful, but this opportunity will give you a chance to not only be successful, but also to be significant. Our success is determined by what we do for ourselves. Our significance is determined by what we do for others.